Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 28th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Down the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes and a look at world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, still only observing that large M-class solar flare that was noted yesterday. SDO has seemed to be, they have taken out that little calibration glitch that they had going on so the imagery is fresh looking at the last 48 hours incoming this is where we saw that large m-class solar flare producing a coronal mass ejection not in an earth-facing direction hence the title yesterday we dodged a bullet looking at the last 48 hours outgoing we did see one cme projected to in the outgoing direction And as well, active region there on the right-hand side, two sunspots getting ready to turn away. This is the last 48 hours of events on our sun. Very active and as well, solar tornado in the southern hemisphere. Plasma filaments stretching all around this massive coronal hole. Still just some amazing imagery here of that large coronal hole. And as well, active sunspot region cresting in right now. So it should be a wild ride here for the rest of October and into the beginning of November. Big coronal hole wind stream followed by some pretty active sunspot regions. Amazing images provided to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide. Having a look here, 171 angstroms at five sunspot regions that are in our view right now. Just some amazing images. And I want to give a quick moment here to thank you all for watching and thank you for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Appreciate your love and loyalty to this channel. Keep spiking those likes and thank you for all the generous comments. Having here a look at space weather conditions right now, currently there are none and we solar winds are coming in at over 500 kilometers per second thanks to that coronal hole wind stream. Solar X-ray flux Still only showing that major, or sorry, the minor M-class solar flare and minor C-class activity throughout the day today. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP4 coronal hole wind stream activity affecting our magnetosphere. This is ISWA still only showing that massive CME taking off towards the Parker Solar Probe. So maybe that will bring a pretty a good glance at what our sun can do and project. Having a look here, Alaska 3 showing that big CME projected. And as well, noting those bright stars on the left-hand side, the one on the right, these two guys right here, but the one on the right is Mercury. And I'm not sure what the other one is. Pretty peculiar. It just kind of came into the frame earlier today. That's Mercury coming in. And what, what is ahead of that? I'm not sure. But LASCO 3 providing some pretty cool imagery of our sun today. Let's have a look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes as we had a pretty interesting event here in Alaska. Northern BC, Alaska border. Covenant Life, Alaska reporting a 5.3 earthquake. Five kilometer depth followed by some pretty sizable aftershocks. 5.1 ranging into 2.9 as well as 4.0 there. North Alaska, notable earthquakes here, rocking Walker, California, 4.2 magnitude, 4 kilometer depth. Aftershocks through the region are still continuing. Millbrae, California, 3.7 there along the coastline. Lots of activity developing here over California. USGS is reporting 288 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Yesterday, we were up over 315 Looking across the USGS here, across the United States, mostly California here. We'll have a look at exactly where these earthquakes are. And it looks like it could be a populated region. Walker, California. Seeing about 30 earthquakes since the 4.2 event. As you can see, minor activity all around the basin. Increasing activity as of late. 
throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. So heads up, stay aware, prepared. Looking at the deepest earthquake the past 24 hours here. Lavuka, Fiji, 621 kilometer depth. That is very deep. And I'm pretty sure that has a little something to do with our space weather event affecting us right now. Large coronal hole wind stream. The pressure is on. Looking around the rest of the world, no other notable earthquakes except for Democratic Republic of the Congo still seeing some activity. 4.5 reported there. Carrying on here, Walton 3D. Very quiet, too quiet through Central America and South America right now. And recent activity up into Afghanistan, 5.1 just reported recently. Activity all around the Southwest, Ring of Fire, Largest the last 24 hours is a 5.6 magnitude earthquake, but notable all this activity in Alaska. Covenant life, Alaska. It's kind of fitting for what is going on around our world right now. Prayers for humani humanity. And much love to you all, and I thank you for watching. I thank you for being a part of this amazing journey here on YouTube with daily events worldwide. Big changes here. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. Notable, the elevated rings showing the depth of the earthquakes. Heads up. Stay safe, stay aware, and prepared, everybody. Now, this is something I wanted to share with you here. Looking at winds projected and forecasted here by windy.com. Very big system developing in the North Atlantic right now. It will be affecting... Ireland, the United Kingdom, and most of Northern Europe, as these systems develop, join forces, and then batter the coastline here. Wicked low just north of Spain. It's going to be coming just south of Ireland in this long-range forecast. Heads up, we're going to be seeing hurricane force winds with this large low, and that is going to help increase and get our polar vortex going. Pretty amazing images here, windy.com, showing this massive low that will be affecting the United Kingdom. So extreme weather event is on the way because you will be seeing extreme winds and as well coastal waves and moisture riding in from the north. I mean, look at the size of this low pressure system. It is massive. It's pretty much as big as North America. And hurricane force winds just north of Spain in this long-range forecast. Look at that. It's the size of North America. It's huge. And we're also going to have a pretty interesting event for eastern Canada, Atlantic provinces, and then another big low comes in from the north in behind all of this madness through the North Atlantic. Now, see how I was saying, joining forces there for a massive low very strong winds, tight isobar winds. Look at that. That is something else, folks. I have never seen anything like this on a forecast. This system is massive. And wow, it's windy. Long range forecast showing a pretty intense system moving up north as well. Quebec and into Greenland. Yesterday I was showing the snow totals in the video. Upwards of 400 to 500 centimeters of snow. Let's have a look at what the Pacific is, is doing. We've got some pretty intense systems moving through the North Pacific right now too. El Nino is very prevalent, prevalent right now. We're going to be seeing a lot of moisture this winter. Big system here developing for eastern Russia and the Koreas. But yeah, this is the big story, folks. Big system coming in to the United Kingdom. Heads up. Stay tuned. Stay aware. Prepared. We'll give you rainfall forecasts in the next couple days. Right now, I wanted to show you the velocity of these winds. And as well, satellite imagery overlooking North America. Very cloudy right now, North America. And cold is settling in. Cold front moving into Ontario as all of these really nice late warm temperatures will be saying bye-bye. And then looking at Australia, I wanted to show here as well, as we have wildfires that are breaking out across most of Northern Territory, 
Look at all these fires. This is the last 24 hours of imagery throughout the day. So for all my friends and family living in Australia, heads up. We know it's going to be dry. Hey, we know it's going to be hot. But this season might be something even more different and extreme. Overlooking Queensland, pretty large fire breaking out there. South of Emerald. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by environmental chaos that is happening throughout the world and throughout our minds and our hearts. God bless you all and thank you for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show, giving a little world update. I hope you stay tuned for the next video. We'll give you a full weather forecast for around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.